Good Clan, proudly sponsored by Spam and Injury. FIFA is hard. And check this out. What you're watching is world record gameplay. This is the highest round anybody has ever gotten to in Black Ops 3 Zombies Shadows of Evil. Uh, this is round 168. Uh, now I know it only says 68 on the screen. For some reason, once you get past round 99 into the hundreds, the one just doesn't show up. Like look here, he completes round 99 and then it just goes to 0, zero. But this is totally legit. Uh, it's not my gameplay. I could never do this. I just don't have the patience uh, nor the skill that this guy does. Uh, this guy's name is Saint Morty, and he played this game for 32 hours total uh, to get this world record. Obviously, he paused it. He didn't just sit there for 32 hours, uh, but it's just absolutely crazy. Props to him. Uh, he was nice enough to let me show you guys his gameplay. Uh, he talked to me in detail about his strategy so that I can pass it on to you guys, uh, and he gave me some cool tips to share with you as well. Uh, so let's take a look at his basic strategy. Obviously, he's doing his train in the ritual room. You can see that he does this really tight loop back and forth uh, to kind of gather all of the zombies, you know, training like we do. At first, to me, this kind of seemed like a, just like a pretty risky training spot, but clearly it works. Uh, so he gathers them up and he uses the new wonder weapon to kill them off. And uh, notice how he always shoots it in the exact same spot by the window. I asked him about that and he told me that this is the spot where you get the most kills with one shot, 40 to 50 kills with one bullet. Uh, so that's the place to do it. Uh, you'll also see that he uses the sword every once in a while and since it's upgraded, uh, that also gets him a lot of kills. Uh, and then when the parasites start flying at him or rolling at him, uh, he's got a ray gun specifically for that, and boom, they're gone. So that's that. It's a really simple strategy. You train in the ritual room, you use your wonder weapon, you shoot it by the window, and you have a ray gun for all of the parasites. It's a lot of repetition, but there's more to it than you think. Uh, Scotty uses a lot of subtle tips that help him survive for so long. First of all, you can't see it, but he's wearing the buildable shield on the back of his character. Uh, you can see right here, when he squeezes past all of these zombies, uh, he would have gotten hit like three times. Uh, but instead, the zombies can only hit the shield on his back. It's just an awesome thing to have with you. And he told me that you should build it at the table right outside of the ritual room. That way, when it breaks, you can quickly go re-equip it. So uh, yeah, he also mentioned using a certain gobble gum during the game called Alchemical Antithesis. Uh, I, I don't want to butcher the name, I'm pretty sure that's it. Uh, Alchemical Antithesis. But it gives you one ammo for every 10 points that you get. So uh, basically, one shot of this gun gives you full ammo. Uh, and you can activate it twice, so it's just like a bunch of of max ammos and it's really really helpful uh, but there you guys have it this is pretty much the best strategy for shadows of evil i mean it did get this guy the world record so make sure you check out his channel the link is in the description he has even more gameplay over there so thank you guys so so much for watching i really do appreciate it if you have the time uh, and you enjoyed this video i'd love it if you could hit that like button for me uh, always much appreciated but if you don't want to it's all good uh, subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys next time it's been ellen Oh no, what have I done? I think I've broken the like button. I just clicked it too many times.